In this video today, we're gonna to talk about the Mantis X10 Elite Shooting Performance System. I've said this many times before in previous videos that you need to train as much as possible with your everyday carry in order to feel comfortable, get proficient, and be safe with your firearm. You may have a lot of experience with firearms, but you may not have a lot of experience actually carrying concealed in public. So training is what's gonna help you get more comfortable and safer with your firearm in public. The problem is that with the rising cost of ammunition, periodic shortages of ammunition, and the inability to just always get to the range, sometimes based on what's going on, work, all the things that people are doing, it's difficult to get to the range. So one of the things you can do is dry fire at home. Dry firing is a method of practicing with your firearm without live ammunition. And one of those tools to dry fire is the Mantis X10 Elite Shooting Performance System. We're gonna cover that today, folks. Before we begin, I have to thank Mantis for sending us the X10 Elite. I uh, reached out to them and let them know we're developing a curriculum and, and we wanted good products to recommend to our students for practicing with their everyday carry. So they were kind enough to send us the X10 Elite for review. So the advantage of dry firing is that you can do it anytime, any place that's appropriate. So you can do it at home, you can do it at your office. You wanna make sure you have no live ammunition around when you dry fire practice. So this is my Glock 19, you can see the action is open. There is no round in the chamber. I'm visually and physically inspecting that. There's no magazine in the magazine well. So you wanna do that. Another thing you wanna do when you dry fire is not have any live ammunition anywhere around. So there's no live ammunition in this room whatsoever. This is the X10 here. It fits on the any kind of rail system uh, of your pistol. It also fits on a rifle or shotgun. Mantis includes the accessories or pieces that you need to mount it on. Either you can mount it on the bottom of your magazine as well or a bow. Rifle or shotgun uh, fits great on uh, pistols with a rail system. It slides right on. There's a little clip here that actually uh, secures it in place when it's on. You can mount it front or back. And when you download the app, it will ask you where it's located on the gun, what orientation. You can just uh, make those adjustments. So a lot of people ask, well, when you're dry firing and you want to go to pull the trigger to simulate actually pulling the trigger, uh, what happens is when you have the magazine in, now this is the factory magazine for my Glock 19, you see it's empty, uh, but when you put it in and you rack the slide, of course, what happens? It locks the slide to the rear, so it doesn't really work for us. So we can either not have any magazine in, but then with each trigger pull, we're gonna have to rack that slide, right? Or you can get a device like this, it's called the T-Trigger, this is from iDry Fire, and it goes inside the magazine well that fits the Glock 19, and what happens is now I'm able to work the trigger without having to work the action. So this is a really nice thing to have when you're practicing your dry fire. So that's what we're gonna use today, folks. What's great about the X10 is it will attach to pistol, rifle, shotgun, even a bow, also airsoft guns. So a lot of people train with airsoft guns to get that recoil and it will attach to them as well. It is compatible with the Laser Academy and the Blackbeard system. So for beginners, it's good. Sometimes that having that laser can be a little distracting when you're trying to work on technique and form. Uh, so, but you can actually add the laser as an option later on or for more advanced shooters. So you might ask, well, how is this gonna help me get better? Well, so it's really, it doesn't, and you go to their website or the YouTube channel and they have a lot of great videos on the specifics of the device and how it works. But basically, it will not show you where you're hitting your target. So for example, when you're at the range, you're shooting, if you're shooting down into the left, for example, you're gonna see that on your paper target. So the Mantis isn't gonna show you that because you don't need the Mantis to show you that because you can see where you're shooting. What it will show you is, or uh, provide the data to explain why you're not hitting what you're aiming at. That's what the Mantis is great for. Explaining why or showing you why you're not hitting what you're aiming at. So it's very sensitive. It has accelerometers and gyroscopes to read your body's input on the gun in real time. So after you break or pull that trigger, it goes back one one thousandth of a second in time to uh, 
calculate where the gun was oriented and how much you moved it when you pulled the trigger. It compares it to, I think, 14 different analytical uh, choices as to why you're not hitting your target. What made you move it based on the direction, the pitch, the yaw, that the gun moved during that trigger pull. So one way to track in real time how much we're moving the gun when we shoot is to start the app, start any drill, swipe over to the motion tracker, and then begin and take maybe five or 10 shots and see actually how we're moving the gun in real time. So we're gonna do that now. So I started the app and I started a drill and I swiped over to the motion tracker and now I can see when I move the gun how much I'm moving to get on target. I'm going to take some shots and I can see all that movement. I'm going to hit the stop. So remember that your accuracy, the score that you get, is relative based on what you're trying to accomplish. So for example, a zero means you need a lot of work, so it goes up to 100. So if you're doing, say, combat drills, then a 60 or 70, they say, is, is a decent score. Now if you're doing precision shooting, you want to shoot for, say, a 95 or higher, right? So it's based on what you're trying to accomplish, how you interpret your us, your, your, your scores. So you see the teaching wheel actually has the average score of your 10 shots or five shots or how many it took. Now the red markings are how you pulled the shot when you pulled the trigger. So you can click on any one of those, touch on any one of those red marks and it'll tell you what mistakes you made. Now I would suggest you click on the largest one. You can click on any of them or touch on any of them. Touch on the largest one to see what mistakes you're, you're making when you pull that trigger. So if you swipe over, it breaks down the entire training session. It divides into splits, scores, and shot order. So the blue and yellow lines indicate movement. The blue is the pre-shot, how much you move before taking the shot. The yellow is the trigger pull, how much you move during the trigger pull. Now the teaching wheel, again, gives you the average and also shows you the red, uh, how you pulled the shot when you pulled the trigger, which direction. There's a consistency chart to track your consistency over time. And of course we have the muzzle trace, which is a favorite among many. This you can play back for each shot and see the movement. The blue of course is the pre-shot movement. The yellow is the movement during the trigger pull. The X is where the impact landed, where your shot landed. The red line is a muzzle flip after you pull the trigger. And you can zoom in or out and you can toggle between each shot to get this information. It's pretty cool. So again, pistol, rifle, shotgun, bow, left or right hand shooters, live fire, drive fire, CO2, simulation, cert. You can use this device for all these different types of training. Some of the courses and drills, you have open training, shot timer, par timer, shoot, no shoot, endurance, reload drills. Reload drills, I think, are very important because when you train, you need to train to reload either for a malfunction or because you need more ammunition. So I think that's very important. Compression surprise break drills, hostage drills, cadence shooting drills, just to name a few here. Courses, there are introduction, basic combat, advanced combat, elite combat, double action diligence. Uh, and they offer patches for completion, daily challenges. You can actually do the daily challenge, which is different each day. Compare your score with other people that have done the, uh, participated in the daily challenge. So that's pretty cool. So for the holster draw analysis, it breaks down into five segments. How long does it take you to get to your gun, to pull the gun out, to transition, punch out, and actually take the shot? So if you do, uh, breaks, it breaks the analysis down by color, time, and average. So for example, you start to drill, the holster draw analysis drill, you take five or six shots, and then you look at the data. And you can see that it breaks it down by color. You look for the widest inconsistency, and whatever segment that is, and you work on that. So whatever area that you're having a, a problem in, that's what you can focus on. So it could be getting to the gun, it could be pulling the gun, it could be punching out, it could be taking the shot. You just look for that inconsistency and you work on that. 
So with the X10 Elite, you have everything that the X2 and the X3 have, plus consistency comparisons, recoil analysis, holster draw analysis, multi-target analysis. They're working on shooting on the move, which is gonna be cool. Rapid fire, moving targets. It includes the BR-7 adapters for rifles and shotguns. It includes a universal mag rail for pistols. So overall, I think it's a great system for analyzing every shot that you take, promoting improvement, and tracking your performance. You can go back and look at all the history of all your uh, training sessions. So who is this device really suited for? Well, it's suited for individuals who want to improve their shooting performance. Instructors, so as a firearms instructor, I can see how this can help out tremendously when you're teaching students on the range or even in a classroom setting. And also agencies use this device, police, law enforcement agencies, and the military as well. So I think it's a great tool. And at the time of this recording, uh, it's $249 for the X10 Elite Shooting Performance System, which when you consider uh, all the ammunition costs, the time to the range, uh, getting to the range, and the fact that you can use this system pretty much anywhere, anytime to practice, uh, it's well worth the investment, I think. If you like this video, folks, please hit that like button and share it with anyone you think may benefit. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. And uh, if you do, hit that notification bell so you know when we release new videos. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.